September brings the end of summer and the early part of autumn together and it's the time of year when bedding down your garden and getting it all prepared for the colder temperatures that are set over the next few months uh, and doing that will really give your plants an edge and make sure they overwinter perfectly. Now in the perennial area pruning, tidying, weeding is the perfect time. So whilst your dahlias, your rebecchias, your echinaceas and all of those late flowering beauties are coming to a close, do feel free to trim and tidy the other plants that may have already gone over their best. Lavenders in particular are great. If you trim off the old flowers back down to just above the foliage at this time of year, you end up with a lovely, healthy, lush dome of grey silver foliage all the way through the winter. And of course, they're set fair then for next summer's flowers. The same applies to perennial geraniums. And if you give them a little trim now, you end up with a lush, green, healthy dome of foliage through the winter and, and into the springtime. On your patio, Think about replacing your summer bedding now with your winter spring flowering bedding. So pansies, polyanthus, primroses, your, your, your spring flowering bulbs like tulips and hyacinths and daffodils. They're all on the website and you can pick from a massive range there. But this is the time to get yours, get them home, get them planted and of course get those patio pots replenished. Because gardening isn't just for summer, you can have a beautiful patio all year round. Mulching is a great thing to do at this time of year, particularly for your delicates. So if you've got any slightly tender plants, make sure you put a good, heavy, thick mulch around them and it will just make sure they're protected from the worst of the winter weather. And finally, pruning. This is the time to give all of your hedges, all of your trees, a bit of a trim up, get them ready for autumn. And of course, then they're beautifully shaped, of course, right the way through the winter. And if we do get any heavy snowfalls, those big boughs won't be damaged by carrying them. So get out there, get some fresh air, really make the most of these lovely long days whilst they're still with us and get your garden in great shape for the winter months ahead.